U.S. warmongers keep pushing the narrative that Hamas is to blame for all deaths in Gaza. One thing I've been meaning to highlight for the last few days is the way U.S. warmongers have been forcefully pushing the propaganda narrative that Hamas bears 100% responsibility for all deaths in Gaza and Israel bears 0% as Israel ramps up its mass slaughter of Palestinians. In a New York Times article titled Hamas Bears the Blame for Every Death in This War, notorious neoconservative war propagandist Brett Stevens argues that no blame whatsoever should be placed on Israel for the thousands of civilians it has killed in its latest Gaza operation and the thousands more it will continue to kill. The central cause of Gaza's misery is Hamas, Stevens writes. It alone bears the blame for the suffering it has inflicted on Israel and knowingly invited against Palestinians. The best way to end the misery is to remove the cause, not stay the hand of the remover. Lindsey Graham, who is such a bloodthirsty psychopath that he recently called on Israel to level Gaza because, quote, we're in a religious war here, and said the U.S. should bomb Iran any time Hamas executes any prisoners, echoed Brett Stevens' sentiments during an interview on Monday. Every death going forward I blame on Hamas, not Israel, Graham said. Graham's senatorial colleague Mitt Romney was even more direct. You are going to see pictures of Palestinian civilians that are going to be injured, killed, by virtue of the conflict which is ongoing, Romney said during an appearance in Tel Aviv. I hope you recognize that those individuals are being killed because of Hamas, not because of Israel. They are using Palestinians to protect Hamas lives, Romney added. Therefore, when Israel takes action to try and go after Hamas and take out its leadership, there will be civilians and innocents that will be killed. They will parade that as if this is some horror perpetrated by Israel. Do not forget the lives that you will see lost on TV, Israeli lives and Palestinian lives lost, are the result of Hamas. Romney continued. Fox News war slut Sean Hannity shares the same opinion, surprise, surprise. Every single death in this conflict can be blamed on Hamas and their supporters in Iran, Hannity told his audience. Because of last week's brutal terror attack, Israel has no choice. They must defend their country. This is about as blatant as war propaganda gets. These imperial narrative managers are using their massive platforms and influence to tell everyone, Remember, kids, you're going to see a whole bunch of innocent civilians get killed, and it's going to look a lot like those civilians are being killed by Israel. But don't you believe your lying eyes? They're really being killed by Hamas. Just because the people dropping military explosives in areas known to be packed full of children are wearing Israeli badges and operating Israeli war machinery doesn't mean Israel is involved in this butchery in any way. It's really Hamas doing all that. And what's great about this narrative is that there's no upper limit on the extent to which it can be applied. If they wind up killing 20,000 Gazans, then Hamas killed 20,000 Gazans. If they wind up killing 100,000 Gazans, then Hamas killed 100,000 Gazans. If they wind up driving all Palestinians out of Gaza into refugee camps in the Sinai Desert and seizing their territory as their own, then God damn you for ethnic cleansing the Gaza Strip, Hamas. No matter how far they extend the bloodshed and abuse, they can still blame it all on Hamas. Per this logic, there is therefore no limit on how far things can be taken before the cost of human life and suffering outweighs Israel's strategic objectives and ceasefire negotiations become necessary. It's a catch-all inoculation against peace. This propaganda is being pushed as President Biden vows to support Israel's ongoing Gaza massacre and tells Netanyahu the U.S. is fully behind Israel's planned Gaza ground invasion. Not only is Israel absolutely responsible for the bloodshed it chooses to inflict on the people of Gaza, the United States is too. These crimes are being perpetrated with U.S. weapons, U.S. funding, and U.S. consent, and backed by the full might of the U.S. propaganda machine. The U.S. is just as responsible for the destruction of Gaza as Israel is. 
All this propaganda is designed to keep people from assigning any blame or responsibility to those who are most guilty in this onslaught. Because if everyone clearly understood what's being done in their name, all that carefully manufactured consent would rapidly disintegrate.